Hello everybody, it's John Christopher. Happy New Year. It's January 2024. I want to now go over the top 10 Azure certifications you should be focused on if you want to further your career here in the year 2024. So let's get moving. So as we move into number 10, the first thing I want to tell you is this video is going to be focused on the Azure side of the certification spectrum as opposed to the Microsoft 365 side. So you may know that Microsoft now kind of has two sides of their cloud services, Microsoft 365 and Azure, although it is all kind of linked together. I'll probably do a second video here coming up on just the Microsoft 365 side of all of this. So remember, this is the Azure side. It's going to be mostly the AZ certifications, and I do have one SC certification thrown in there. In fact, here it is right here, SC900. That is my number 10 first certification on this list. The SC900 is kind of a mix of Azure and some Microsoft 365 side of things, but it is a foundation certification on security. And I am big on having that foundation on security. I think that's very, very important. Security is just such an integral part uh, when it comes to uh, knowing your um, your foundation for networking, for administration, development, it doesn't matter. Whatever you're doing involving IT is going to involve security. So with this certification, you're going to get a good fundamental with security compliance, identity. You know, it's going to uh, help you with interacting with business stakeholders. It's going to be great for somebody who's even new for um, IT professional, or if you yourself are a business stakeholder, or if you're just a new student, uh, this is perfect for that. Anybody can jump right in and take this SC900. Now, the other thing I want you to know is that uh, every one of the, the certifications that you're going to see in this video, I offer a Udemy course for it. Every one of my courses right now have a really good sale going on. If you go to examlabpractice.com slash courses, the links on that website, examlabpractice.com slash courses, the links automatically have the code, the discount code on it. All you got to do is go to that website and click the link and it'll discount the uh, the Udemy uh, course for you right then and there. All right. So every one of these. Now, the other thing I want to ask you is that please, I hope you'll subscribe to my uh, channel here. I'm trying really hard to get this channel off the ground. Uh, as you can see, only a very, very small percentage of people that watch this channel actually subscribe. And in order for the, the algorithm to actually show these videos to people, I need subscribers. So I'm asking you, please subscribe and I can keep bringing you as much free content as uh, possible. So please give me a like, a subscribe, ring that notification bell. I do give away free courses uh, usually to like 100 or 200 people at once. I do that usually once or twice a month. And if you ring that notification bell, you can be notified when I do that and be one of those people that gets it. So again, I hope you'll check that out. Give me a like and subscribe. And also the link that's the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, check that out as well. Okay, every one of my courses are on sale right now. Okay, so that was my top 10 SC900 certification. It's one exam, pass it, get that fundamental certification. All right, number nine. AZ140. Now this is the Azure Virtual Desktop certification. It is a specialty certification. You're learning about AVD, Azure Virtual Desktop. So this is great for somebody that is uh, moving into the realm of managing virtual desktops online. So if you didn't know, that's kind of what a lot of companies are starting to move towards. They're starting to implement thin client systems in their organization where they're going to have a thin client. These are you know, lower end types of devices that you can use and you can manage your actual desktops in the cloud. And these devices will remote into those, de those desktops that are actually hosted in the cloud. And you as an administrator have to know how to manage all of that. And of course the AZ140, you're learning how to do that. And that's what the certification is all about. And that's what you'll be learning. Okay. So that is my number nine. Number eight, the AZ700. Now the AZ700 is the Azure Network Engineer certification. So you are learning all about the core networking when it comes to Azure. This is all about dealing with Azure networking, hybrid connectivity, connecting to on-premise and the Azure uh, cloud environment. 
dealing with connecting to applications, private public access, network security. So the, yes, there is some security thrown in there. So this is a perfect exam for somebody, especially if you've been a network administrator for years, you're gonna love this certification. This is a great certification to get. It's definitely a sought after one. All right, so AZ700. Coming up next, number seven, the AZ801. Now the AZ801, this is the Windows Server Hybrid Administrator. Now I'm gonna go ahead and warn you, this one's paired up with another one, the AZ800, which is of course gonna come up next. The AZ801 is paired with the AD AZ800. 800 and this is sort of the equivalent of what we had with the MCSE days. Uh, of course you don't have to pass six and seven exams or eight exams uh, back in the Windows Server 2003 days to get that certification. It's two exams. Uh, the AZ801 is one of the exams you have to pass. This is 801 would actually be the second exam you would want to take in the series and uh, it is very much cloud hybrid oriented. So you're, you're learning server but it's cloud uh, involving server. So you're dealing with on-premise servers that are integrating with the cloud. And then if we go over to my number six, that's the AZ800, which of course is more of the traditional on-premise size. So again, AZ800 is the first exam you would usually want to go after and that uh, the AZ801 will be the second exam you would want to go after after you pass the AZ801. So this is actually sort of the traditional admin role of a server admin. So if you're somebody that's got a lot of server experience and that's something your organization or company needs, you would want to go after this. I cannot say this enough. The AZ800, AZ801, these are great. This is a great certification to get. Very sought after. And it's kind of like the equivalent of what we had with the MCSE nowadays. Okay, So good money in that certification. So that's AZ800, AZ801. You pass both of those exams, you get the Windows Server Hybrid Administrator Certification. All right, I offer both of those exams as a course, uh, two separate courses. Check out examlinepractice.com slash courses, get that discount. Number five, AZ900. Now this is a very straightforward, pretty easy exam. It's one exam, get a certification. It's Azure Fundamentals. This is kind of the starting point for a lot of people. So if you are somebody that has absolutely no experience and you are just wanting to really you know, get your feet wet in Azure and just get started with Azure and start from the ground up, the AZ900 is the way to go. Okay, This is going to be a great certification for you. You're going to learn about what compute is that gets into the, the processing and setting up virtual machine. You're going to learn the basics of Azure networking. You're going to learn the basics of storage. It's a pretty easy certification to, to get. Um, it's a good course to take and uh, an easy exam to, uh, to pass. So definitely one you want to check out. That's the AZ900 exam. Again, pass that one exam, get the certification. Number four, AZ104. Okay, usually the stepping stone after somebody takes AZ900, they'll go after AZ104. Although I will say you don't have to take AZ900 and then go after AZ104. But this is the next one. This is the next uh, certification. This is sort of like the like general Azure admin certification. So if you're looking for like the generic vanilla flavored, this is the intermediate level Azure Administrator Certification. This is going to show organizations or companies that you are somebody that knows your stuff when it comes to administering Azure. This is the certification for you. This is the AZ-104. Okay, So this is Azure Administrator. It's an intermediary level certification, mid-level certification. Usually what people do, they might go after the AZ-900 first, pass that, then go after AZ-104. But if you are somebody that doesn't want to go that route and you just want to jump right into AZ-104, you can. In fact, my course is designed to where you could just go right after AZ-104 if you wanted. Okay, so you're going to learn about virtual network, storage, compute, which gets into virtual machines, identity, security, governance, all that stuff. Okay, number three, AZ-305. Now, this is expert level. So, this is expert level with Azure. So, usually what people do they do the AZ-900 first, that's the beginner level. 
The AZ-104 is the mid-level, that's the one you just saw, and then the AZ-305 is the expert level. So you would only go after the AZ-305 after you have done the AZ-104. You know, that's generally the way that you'd go about it. That is the Azure Solutions Architect. So this is the higher level, the uh, the more extreme level, and you're basically taking those concepts that you've you've learned from AZ-104 to the next level. Okay, so compute, network, storage, monitoring, security. You're not just looking at looking at things from an admin perspective. You're looking at things from a design perspective. So big money in this certification. Number two, AZ500. So this is the security side of the Azure spectrum uh, when it comes to, to dealing with just Azure security itself. All right. Um, so Azure Security Engineer, this is a mid-level certification. Usually you'd at least want to get your AZ-104 before jo jumping into AZ-500, but I will say that my course is designed in a way to where you could technically take it um, to where if you didn't take 104, you could take AZ-500, but I would still recommend somebody taking uh, AZ-104 first before jumping into AZ-500, okay? But that gets into security with identity and access, data, applications, networks. You get into managing security posture, identity and remediating vulnerabilities, performing threat modeling, implementing threat protection, all of that, okay? All right, finally, my number one is the AI-900. Now, you might say, well, that's just an easy foundation certification. Correct, but it's on AI, and I think, unless you've been sleeping under a rock, okay, I think you know, you are aware that AI is the big thing everyone is talking about right now. And there's a surefire way, you know, for you to stay up to, up to date on certification and the latest and greatest stuff that's happening. Uh, and if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest um, thing everybody's talking about in the industry, well, that thing is AI. Okay, so the AI 900 exam is a great exam to dip your toes into artificial intelligence. So I would highly recommend doing that, and that is an easy exam. It's a very easy exam, and it's a great way for you to start moving in that direction of learning AI. All right? All right, everybody, that is going to be my top 10 for January 2024. Uh, certifications again this is just Azure keep in mind I will do another one on Microsoft 365 the uh, the MS certification MD certification all of that stuff coming up uh, I, and again please give me a like and a subscribe I'm trying really hard to grow this channel and provide free content don't forget the discount code at examlabpractice.com slash courses and with that said hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you in the next one <music>